I, I, I wish I had, I, every time I walked in, that was the sound right <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Fernando. I'm the founder and CEO of Zen's Tea House, and I'm really grateful to be here. And uh, one of the things that a lot of people like to ask is, Fernando, how did you get into teas and herbs? Well, before Zen's Tea House came around, I spent five years in the United States Navy. Any veterans in the house? Thank you for your service. Thank you. Thank you for your service. And so I served five years, and by the time I got out, I was 23. I'd already visited 20 different countries, because you travel a lot when it's a time of war. And I looked, I was able to see firsthand how a lot of people outside the U.S. look at medicine and healthcare in general. I also come from a very healthcare family. My mom and my dad both work for Kaiser. My brother works at, here at UCI as a respiratory therapist, also Kaiser. My sister is an RN at uh, Hogue in Newport, and my other sister is a CNA. And the healthcare was very prominent growing up. I went the more holistic route, and now I work with naturopathic doctors, uh, homeopathic doctors, Western MDs. Uh, medical physicians who take a more holistic approach to healthcare and mental health is very, very, very important when it comes to health, overall health and wellness. Uh, teas and herbs are just a catalyst, it's a way for us to be able to touch base with people who are looking uh, for a healthier uh, alternative. A lot of people are looking for um, other way, other other things than prescriptions, alternatives to pharmaceutical drugs, but really there has to be a healthy balance. And when it comes to mental health, really this is what I'm going to be talking on: is the health healthy balance. Uh, for November and December, Zen's Tea House did a we did a series called "Spilling the Tea on Mental Health." <laughs> and what we were doing was we were educating consumers people who like these teas and herbs and say, look, how does one how does one take care of their health, their mental health, using teas and herbs? And the truth is, the teas and the herbs have very little. It's more of a state of being. It's a lifestyle. And when a lot of people are looking for a tea for depression, it's one of the most common questions I get and doing all the emails is there is no there is no universal pill for depression because there is no universal body everyone's body is different and now i'm not a pharmacist and i'm not a licensed medical physician i work with pharmacists and i work with licensed medical physicians and one of the things about holistic health care is they customize it they make it individual for the person what one person struggles with anxiety may be completely different from another and people uh, who, who use these teas and herbs, they really have to understand that it's not just putting something else on your plate. It's not as simple as just drinking. I love that there are resources here because for any one person or any one company to say, I have something that's gonna help you with your mental health, to look at that as a red flag. There are a lot of people who want to care and help, but what works for Ariel may be very different from Julian. And they might have the same symptoms, and they might be able to get the same relief from drinking a nice, relaxing green tea. But there are underlying base of medical problems or psychological that are not even based off someone's um, consumption. One of the things with spilling the, uh, spilling the tea on mental health was we spent quite a bit of time talking about our, our gut. It's also known as the second brain. And there's a whole bunch of uh, research that came out in the last 10 years about how uh, the neurotransmitters, these chemicals that are released in our brain, uh, they are largely uh, produced from the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve kind of goes up and down uh, your body, and it's really, it's really connected to what your body consumes via food. So when you're looking at mental health, one of the things that you have to consider is your diet. That doesn't really make sense for a lot of people. 
You're telling me my emotional state of mind has something to do with what I eat? Yes, it is very concrete evidence. And sometimes what happened overnight, uh, what happened overnight wasn't just produced from that one night of eating unhealthy food or overindulging in cake and soda and all the nice stuff that, that I personally enjoy but I have to postpone because it has a negative effect on my overall health. And so I want to kind of open the floor for people because it's always important to understand um, your audience is how many people know someone who struggles with uh, mental health chronically? Like it's just been around for years. And it, and it really doesn't matter, you know, how many times they go to counseling. It doesn't really matter if they wake up early or late. It's just a chronic, real challenge. And that is something a little more difficult. And that's something that has to be met with doctors and get on the customized plan. Uh, what I'm talking about is a little more general, because which I know I'm just talking about holistic and having a very customized plan, right? Um, we, the mental health is often connected to neurology. It's neurological, it's not just physiological. And here at Zen Sea House, that's what we do, is we, we provide resources here. Um, we have a lot of resources online. Simply saying that, look, our healthcare system is really first class, but we look at mental health almost from a very narrow perspective. And I'm not saying that to be offensive, I'm not saying that to be harsh, I'm saying this in a way to expand. When you're looking at mental health, it goes so much more than just a counseling. It goes so much more than your diet. It goes so much more than environment. You know where you are living. There is there is this paradigm. It's called. Um, you could look it up. It's called the six aspects of health. Some people say seven, eight, nine aspects of health. Uh, on the spilling the tea on mental health, the series we did last November and December, we got the six aspects. Number one, uh, physical. We have mental. We have emotional. Emotional is a huge one. Uh, social, how we are interacting, how we socialize with everyone. Environmental, because you could be very physically healthy and you could be doing all the mentally things to be stimulating, you're eating the right food and you're, you're taking care of yourself, but you're in an unhealthy environment. And I, and I know, being in the military, that you could be very physically fit, but that uh, unhealthy environment that you're in can really have a negative effect on you mentally. Um, and then final, ooh, finally, is uh, spiritual health. Now spiritual health, everyone has their own level of spirituality. Uh, I'm going to kind of go off a little off. Uh, one of the things that I studied while I was overseas, uh, when I was in India, was a, a medical service. It's, a, it's called Ayurveda. Ayurveda, it's Ayur, which is like, um, it's just, like health, like like healthness, and then beta is like knowledge. It's like science, science knowledge, knowledge science. You can look it up. It's not. It's written in. Um, it's written in Hindu or Hindi. It's, it's Sanskrit. That's correct. It's written in Sanskrit. And what they did is that when they're taking when uh, an Ayurveda physician, it's a lot like the Native American physician. When they're treating the person, they treat the whole person. They do not separate physical health from mental health. There is no separation from how you're doing physically to how you're doing emotionally. And here at Zen CS, we really encompass that, saying, look, these teas and herbs that you eat, that you, that you drink and that you use, wonderful, awesome, but it has to be inclusive. It has to be part of a lifestyle. There's no one tea that's gonna help you uh, with weight. There's no one tea that's gonna help you with uh, your immune system. And I know there's a whole bunch of tea companies that's saying, oh, it's a skinny tea right here. <laughs> They're playing, it's a mental trick. They're playing off your emotions. And so, uh, that being said, we don't, we actually don't have any Zen's Tea House products for sale. They're just giving away teas. And so you're more than welcome to try them out. Uh, Zen's Tea House doesn't grow any teas. 
what we do is we work with uh, organic tea farmers and, and we work together to provide uh, ingredients that are relatively difficult to find here in the U.S. And it has nothing to do with agriculture, it has just really to do with um, just supply and demand. Uh, so I hope this was, was informative on mental health because it, there, are, there are things that you can implement like teas and herbs to help mentally. But one of the, the, one of the, the slippery slopes that people have is, well, if I take this supplement, it's going to help me. And that's the wrong, that's, I want to say that's the wrong way of looking at it. But to have a more holistic approach is to say, okay, so how does this help me physically? How does this help me emotionally? How does this help me um, uh, mentally and spiritually? How am I implementing that? Um, is it environmentally even accessible? You know, there's no universal meal. There's no universal health plan. Uh, there's some universally, oh, this is a universally good, but customize it to your, um, to your health and wellness. And your health and wellness includes those six aspects. Uh, so uh, if there's any information, again, what, what we do is we really just provide resources. You can take a look at the website. It's got a bunch of, uh, got a bunch of citations from published peer review articles. Really, it's to the help of medical physicians and scientists and research and health advocates who've looked into that. And we're just so blessed to live in an age where there's such thing as copy and paste and, and you know, <laughs> and then, and then uh, Chicago Tribune citations. So if there's um, any questions, yes sir? Well, you know, you talked earlier about mental health and that's just a two-part thing. One thing is uh, you got health in the morning, you feel frummy, Yeah, so again, I'm not a medical physician. I can tell you right now, I love fish oil, but I know that I don't take that on an empty stomach. You know, I have some, I use it for the cardiovascular fish oil, omega 3s, 6, 9. And honestly, it's really, so environmental health, like if you're, if you are not, if the right environment, like if your, your stomach isn't ready to consume that, then obviously it's not ideal to have that. But that being said, you really need to, so I'm a big fan of meeting with dietitianists and nutritionists. Uh, dietitianists and uh, they work to help customize plans for people who have gastrointestinal challenges, um, prol uh, challenges with their stomach and their gut. And really that's something you have to work with one on one. And that's something that I kind of want to work against is saying, look, if this works just for 90%, this works for 90% of the people, that, and it works 98% of the time, that doesn't mean that it's right for you. In fact, I have a video with a, um, a, a licensed nutri a holistic nutritional therapist talking exactly about that. It's on YouTube. In fact, if you have any questions or anything like that, uh, please take a look at the YouTube channel, uh, zenst.com. Uh, those are the resources. Is that a good area? Yeah, let's take two more questions. Okay, two more that. questions. Uh, Alexis. Um, what would you recommend, what type of tea would you recommend with um, weight issues? I would never recommend a tea. <laughs> I would never recommend anything because that's a huge liability. <laughs> but I would say uh, often take something off your plate like soda. Soda is. Oh, I know, I know. That's one of the nice things about people drinking tea, is it's kind of like having a gym membership. You can't have a gym membership and utilize it and still smoke and eat fried food and Twinkies and all that good stuff. I don't know if I can say Twinkies, but you know, this, you can't, if you are utilizing these teas, it's really difficult to, 
live in that unhealthy lifestyle. You're going to pick one or the other. So it's more like kind of a supplement. You supplement. Um, we have one more question, Nancy. Yes. Um, why do some people like have like issues like when they're like taking tea that they have to go bathroom constantly? Why, why do, they, how do, oh, they do that? Oh, yeah. So that's a good question. Um, how, Anyone ever travel outside of the U.S. and start eating the food that grows outside of America? Mexico. Or Mexico and <laughs> Europe. You know, when I was in the Navy, the meat that you eat is actually not real meat. Oh my God. It's, um, it actually says it, this is not supposed to be sold. It's for people in prisons and military. Okay. <laughs> and the food oh, in jail. is not that great. And when you have a good food, Guess what? Your stomach is going to be like, I'm not used to this good nutrition. And you, it's almost, it's almost rejected as a laxative. Some people have this when they drink so much. I know I'm picking on soda, but we're a soda drinking nation, so I'm going to pick up that. Um, people drink soda so much that all of a sudden they stop. And guess what? They're, they're, they're almost like relapsing. And you can do the same thing with food. Um, but again, speak, you gotta work with, you have to work with your physician because you could also very well be allergic to some of these teas and herbs. And that's some of the stuff we talked about. You know, there is, there, you could definitely be allergic to that. And so just because you have, it's good, and it, again, this is what I said, it could work for 90% of the people, 98% of the time, but it may not work for you because you have an allergic reaction. And this is again why you have to meet with the uh, nutritionist, dietitianist, a holistic physician. They take a look at everything, and they won't say that one tea or one herb or one exercise or one counselor fixes it all. Is your tea vegan friendly? Uh, I like vegans, so yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, this is there's no meat in it. There's no meat, there's no, it's pretty much just the teas, Camellia sinensis. And again, I want to thank you. Uh, not, I'm really not here to advocate for these companies and CS, I just so happens that's kind of how I get introduced. You'll notice there's nothing selling since Tea House on there, we're just giving it away. A real passion is health education because uh, it's just one of those things that I feel we could really improve on. Oh, we have a question over there. Yes. Yes, sir. Oh, I just said, well, thank you for being on my veteran, too. Well, I just want to say what I try to promote here is this is to all the vendors. And I, I keep saying it over and over that and if, if you take the word illness and take away I and put we, it's called the wellness. So welcome to the wellness center. This is the Tacoma Center. There you go. Uh, yeah. All right, can we give him just a warm thank you? Yeah. yeah.